I just did a bunch of power feeding on my table saw. I'm making uh, canvas stretcher frames, which are these things right here. I cut up all these parts. About 400 parts right there on that cart. There's two more carts over here. These were cut and then cut again when I set the saw to bevel, which is what's, what's on here right now. This is not a homemade power feeder. This is actually called the King Easy Feed. I made this blade guard. You can really see this, but it's got four wheels that are independently chain driven, three speeds on the belt. This is the blade guard that came with the machine. It wasn't very substantial, barely covered the sprockets, and I, I wanted something to hook dust collection up to which is what this is here and it's very effective at collecting dust I collect it at the top of the blade and then this hose here hooks up to the back and that gets the dust from the from the bottom of the blade so I, I've been running this off for about six hours me and another guy and uh, that dust right there is all the dust that's that's generated after six hours of continuous cutting so that's pretty good okay You see, the chain does require a little bit of maintenance after uh, making so many cuts. my power feeder mounted on my router table that's a, a custom made router table with three routers in it so it's designed to do three shaping operations in one pass uh, for this production run I'm just running two of the motors um, I'm going to do a test cut without the blade cover on it and without the dust collection it'll kick out some dust but Let's see how this thing is working. bits on my router table. You can see there's three spots for router bits. I'm just using these two in the back, the one in the front I'm not using on this production run. I had some problems with the tracking before, so I, I did some modifications. I added these three rollers. This is, this is on a spring here. So this, this is going to roll. That's going to roll. This keeps it tighter against the fence because it was had this tendency to kick out 
when it uh, left that last power feed roller.